So the battle for the number one recruit in the nation is well underway as the Nebraska Cornhuskers are trying to enter the sweepstakes for not only the number one prospect in the nation, but the number one quarterback in the nation, Dylan Rayola, something we have got to break down. But before we can, as always, y'all know the drill. I have got to hear from you. Hop down to the comments. Give me a Y for yes or an N for no. Do you believe that Matt Rule and Nebraska win the Dylan Rayola sweepstakes? And let me know what you're thinking. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. Hit that bell notification as I do constant college football content you don't want to miss any of it and if you enjoyed the content be sure to like and comment down below those interactions are massive to content creators such as myself and we're on a push to 20,000 subscribers I'd love to have you a part of this unbelievable journey but having said all that let's jump right into this and as I stated in the intro Dylan Rayola is one of the most gifted prospects we've seen in recent memory and every institution in the nation would love to add him in to their 2024 recruiting class first and foremost because of the talent he brings to the table which is impressive but second we talk about this a lot here on the channel. When you get some of these blue chip quarterbacks in your class, your class almost recruits itself because these skill position guys, they look at a Dylan Rayola, who's a five-star quarterback, and they say, I'm probably safer following him because at least I know there's a quarterback that I deem capable. So this is something we've got to watch. But Nebraska is not the only team hot on the heels of Dylan Rayola. In fact, if we look at 24-7 sports, the Georgia Bulldogs have a crystal ball inserted in their favor. They have been able to recruit Dylan Rayola and recruit him very well and one thing we know about Georgia that's a staff that can really really recruit and it doesn't matter where in the nation you are they can go out and get you so if Georgia's on you it's going to be a really tough battle but we also have got to watch the Nebraska Cornhuskers for multiple reasons first and foremost Matt Rule Matt Rule has brought a different air to Lincoln and I'm really interested to see how his tenure as the Cornhuskers head coach goes Nebraska is one of those programs where the fan base wants more than anything to get back to their glory days it was just far enough that the memory is slipping but not far in the past enough to where we've completely forgotten what the Nebraska Cornhuskers once were. And Matt Rule is an individual who was able to do real positive work with Baylor when he was the head coach there. And so Matt Rule is a big reason why there's so much hype, excitement, and intrigue around the Cornhuskers. But even further than that, if we're looking specifically at Dylan Rayola, well, Dylan Rayola's uncle is the offensive line coach for the Nebraska Cornhuskers. If I'm not mistaken, he was already on staff when Matt Rule got there and Matt Rule retained him. But that connection, that could be big. Rayola is from the state of Arizona, so one would have to imagine Kenny Dillingham and the Arizona State Sun Devils are going to be hot on the tail of Dylan Rayola, and deservedly so, trying to keep him in state. Why wouldn't you? But this is a battle we have got to watch. Rayola is coming off of a visit to Nebraska, and this is something I'm very excited to see, because if Nebraska can win this sweepstakes, there's no telling what they're going to be able to do in recruiting. It will absolutely be a major benefit to that recruiting class, and several skill position guys are going to want to follow. So I am super interested in this sweepstakes. Whether Dylan Rayola goes to Georgia, Nebraska, or wherever he may go, someone is going to be getting a fantastic quarterback, and if it's the Nebraska Cornhuskers, I can bet you all the money in the world their fans fan base is going to be over the moon and I can't wait to hear from all of you. Hop down to the comments. Let me know what you're thinking. That's it. See you.